right, boys and girls, and a good day we will have. I'm super excited to tell you that we are gonna be learning about something really, really important for our Earth, but also super fun for Halloween. We are going to be learning all about spiders, and spiders are such amazing creatures. But don't call a spider an insect. A spider is not an insect, and we are going to learn why. Why is a spider not an insect? Now, this is a gorgeous spider on the spider's web, and we're gonna learn about how many parts are there in the spider's body, how many legs does a spider have? So I'm gonna read this book. This book is called Spiders by Carolyn B. Otto. And I wanna tell you about this book. This book is nonfiction. That means everything in it is true. It's not a made up story about a spider. Although I like those two, especially Little Miss Spider. We might get a chance to read a Little Miss Spider book soon, but spiders are real and they are amazing and important for our earth. So let's learn about them. Let's see here. I do have, can I ask for, um, let's see here. Um, Mama Langston, will you check your mute button? Go ahead and turn that on. And Saman, are you okay, honey? Are you okay? I have big spider before. Ah, okay, so we are going to have lots of connections here, but we're going to keep them in our smart brain. We've all seen spiders. Simon, will you go ahead and turn on your mute button, honey? We've all seen spiders. We all have experience with spiders, but let's go ahead and put our hands down and see what else we can learn about spiders. Whoa, there's another amazing spider. Look how beautiful the patterns are on that spider. Absolutely stunning. Just amazing. Spiders live all over the world. Spiders live all around you. Spiders might live in a garden. And there's the spider right there. They might live in your house. This one looks like it might be up in the attic. Sometimes spiders like to live in the attic. It's a nice quiet place for them. When you find a spider, it's better not to touch it. And you can see here's the girl and she's observing the spider. The spider is right here, but she's just looking at it. She's not bothering it. She's being so respectful to the spider. Some spiders bite and most have venom, but most spiders will not hurt you. So when you find a spider, just look at that spider closely. Spiders are very interesting. And look at all of these different colors and different shapes. That's a spider, look at that, that's amazing. And look at this spider down here. It's a spider because it has all the right spider parts. Let's learn more. Spiders can be big, but never as big as you are. Most spiders are small. Some are so tiny you can hardly see them. This spider right here is just on the very, very tip of the person's finger, and it's just hanging out there, just very tiny, right on the tip. Look at the tip of your finger. Can you imagine just the smallest spider right there on the tip of your finger? Some spiders are brown and hairy. Some are yellow. Some are green. Spiders come in many colors. Look at that green spider. That is amazing. And when we see something like this, we don't say how gross. I'm gonna tell you what we say. This is the kindergarten way because you are being a scientist learning about spiders. We say, how scientific. Can you say that with me? How scientific. So when you see spiders can be yellow or green or brown, you say, how scientific, because you are being a scientist. There are lots of different kinds of spiders. Spiders have two main parts to their body. So this is how spiders are different than insects. Spiders have a head right here and an abdomen, that's one, two body parts. Insects usually have 
three body parts. Usually have three. Spiders have eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs on a spider, six legs on an insect. We'll learn more about that too. So spiders have two body parts and eight legs. Most spiders have eight eyes too. Eight eyes, could you imagine if you had eight eyes? But some spiders have six eyes or four eyes or two eyes. Some spiders live in dark caves and don't have any eyes at all. So some spiders just don't need to see. All spiders make silk. Spiders use silk in different ways. Some spiders use silk to build their homes. This spider has a home under the ground. So that is so amazing. We can say how scientific that the spider used silk. Look at that. It's like a spider's doorway right there. That is so amazing. This spider has a home under the water. It's built a web that allows the water to stay out, the air to stay in, and that spider lives underwater. Wow, how scientific. Many spiders use silk to build webs. Different kinds of spiders build different kinds of webs. So even as you're walking around, especially if you ever go outside in the morning, that can be a really good time to see some spider webs. You might see one, one web looks different than another web. Spiders build their own special kind of web and different spiders build different kinds of webs. This web is called an orb web. Orb is another word for circle. The spider who built it is waiting to catch a meal. And I think lots of us know that spiders wait for other insects to get stuck on that web and then the spider will eat that other insect. And here's an example, there's a spider and there, there it's got another insect right there. This spider has caught a grasshopper. In her web, she wraps the grasshopper in threads of silk. The spider will eat the grasshopper later. Wow, how scientific. Can I get um, Langston, will you check your mute button for me, my dear? Spiders, spiders lay eggs. Thumbs up if you knew that. I knew spiders lay eggs. Spiders lay eggs, like a chicken lays eggs, like a snake often lays eggs. Spiders lay eggs. That means that, oh, before I get to that, let me just read this. They often use silk to protect their eggs. So these are spider eggs right here. There are many eggs inside the egg sac. So there will be lots of baby spiders. The spider carries her babies on her back. So look at that, that's the mom spider and all the little babies are all over her back. The bodies hold on tightly. They're not ready to leave their mother. Wow, how scientific. These baby spiders are ready to go. They spin a long thread of silk the silk helps carry them up into the air. So these spiders, they're ready to leave their mother. They kind of float on a silk thread and away they blow. The baby spiders will float in the air. Some babies will land nearby. Others will land much farther away. They will all begin new lives on their own. If you see a spider, make sure you look and learn. Try to see what that spider is doing. Think about where the spider came from. It may have come from far away, floating on a thread of silk. So that is amazing. We've learned so much about spiders. So we learned that spiders have eight legs, they have two body parts. Some spiders can even have eight eyes. That is amazing. They can be all different colors, even different sizes. We also learned that most spiders have venom and spiders can bite. 
So we want to be respectful to spiders. They're not trying to hurt you. We don't go out for a walk and have spiders attacking us, do we? No, that doesn't happen at all. But they will protect themselves or protect their own web or their babies. That is pretty amazing. So thumbs up if you learned something about spiders today. Yes, Saman, go ahead and unmute yourself. I have a question. Yes. Um, how do baby spiders protect themselves from uh, animals that might eat them? That's a good question. Do you think that baby spiders would have a good defense system against something larger than it? Maybe, yeah. maybe yeah. not. Maybe not. Maybe they haven't grown big enough. Maybe their best defense is to stay together on their mother's back. That might be their best defense so that the mother can be the one to be a little bit scarier to something that might want to harm the babies or even the mother. That might be the way it is. Yeah, pretty amazing. Yes, Xerxes. Where's venom? Venom. Some people say poison. Some people say poison, but spiders can be venomous. Snakes can be venomous. It's, it's something that the spider produces in its own body that can be harmful to other creatures. So sometimes people call it poison, although that's not really the scientific word. The science word is venom, and venom is like a poison that the spider makes in its body. Snakes can also be venomous. Does that make a little bit more sense? Yeah. They, yeah, if they bite you, they might make you sick. They, or you might not feel very good. Yeah. Or you might feel fine. Is it just it depends. Poisonous? Poison and venom are often used the same, but venom is the more scientific word for what spiders make and that they might inject into something that is bothering it or it wants to eat. Yes. Let's go ahead with Aaron. Yes, Aaron. Legs. Spiders have eight legs. Yes. They have web. And they make webs. Have you seen spiders before, Erin? Yeah. Are they pretty amazing creatures? Next time you see a spider, watch it. See what you can learn from it. See what color it is, how big it is. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Yes, Ava. Spider have eight eyes. Why can it have eight eyes? That is an excellent question, Ava. So a spider can have eight eyes because it does need to be able to see. Often in an environment, Samira, will you turn your mute button on, honey? We get a lot of echo if mute buttons are off. Thanks, Sam thanks Samira, until it's your turn to talk, sweetie. Uh, spiders can often be in places where they need to see. They need to see in lots of different directions. They need to see maybe a little bit far and that probably helps them. Although we did read that some spiders live in dark caves and they don't have any eyes at all. They don't need them. Pretty amazing. Thanks for that question, Ava. I'm going right on over to Avery. Go ahead and unmute, Avery. Why does a spider have um, two body parts. Why does a spot spider have two body parts? That is an excellent question. And I'm not 100% sure of the scientific reason, but that is what a spider needs. That's how the spider has evolved. And it's what the spider needs to do, what it needs to do to survive. So one thing that we need to remember that's important is that a spider has two body parts but an insect, like a butterfly, has three body parts. So that's, like I said, something we'll be learning about. And I'm gonna go on over to Vivon. I saw Vivon raising his hand. Yes, Vivon. I know a venomous spider that has eight eyes. Oh, tell us, do you know the name? No. Not sure, but you definitely heard about it. We won't forget Fiona, I promise. All right, very nice. Let's go with Mahialani. Go ahead and unmute Mahialani. <clears throat> I like the spider with 
Shaking. Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> Some of them are so beautiful, aren't they, Mahialani? Yeah. They sure are. They're amazing creatures to look at. So always look with your eyes and see what you can learn about them. That's great. We're learning so much today. Yes, Miriam. Go ahead and unmute, honey. Lips. Lips. Go. Lips. I have seen a spider on the world. It was orange. Oh, very cool. What a great color. That one's going to stand out. Why do you think, Miriam, why do you think a spider would be a bright color like orange? What's it telling everything around it? Um, it had it, I didn't see the eyes, but That's I okay. did see the black. Oftentimes, when things are bright colors, it's the signal to <laughs> everything else. I am dangerous. Stay away from me. So sometimes you might see a spider and it's bright colors and that's that signal to say, I have venom, you don't wanna get near me. And that's just part of the defense system of some animals. Um, you'll see even sometimes frogs can be bright colors, they're poisonous. Spiders can be bright colors, they're venomous. Even snakes can be bright colors. They might be venomous too, and that's that's them saying, stay away from me. I'm dangerous. Yeah, pretty amazing. Good observation. So that means they're poison? Oftentimes it does. Oftentimes it's, it's a way for them to say, stay away from me. I can hurt you. Yeah. Especially to other things that might want to eat it. Not necessarily to us, because we're big and we don't necessarily eat spiders, but to other creatures that might want to eat them. That might be what they're saying. Yeah. Let's go with Samira. Yes, Samira. Thank you for being patient. How does a spider lay eggs? How does a spider lay eggs? That is an excellent question. Now, spiders have a special egg laying process. And I'm kind of wondering if I might be able to find a video and post a video to help you learn a little bit more about spiders today. Would that be okay, Samira? Because we're so curious about yeah. them. Yeah, why don't I do that? And let's see what else we can learn about spiders because they are amazing creatures. They sure are. And I see so many friends that really wanna say something or ask their question. I'm just gonna choose one or two more and then I think it'll be time for us to kind of get up and move our body. So I'm gonna choose Ko. Yes, Ko. Mm. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to I'm going to ju just choose Brandon Ace for a moment. Yes, Brandon Ace. Um a a, tr a the most venomous spider um it's a black wid widow, or if they get mixed up together, um, it's a it's a tarantula spider. That's the most spider. Most... Every you can't hold it. Okay. It's... Can I tell you a secret about tarantulas? A lot of people keep them as pets. They're pretty mild creatures. But you're right that black widows are one of the more venomous. Definitely, definitely. Okay, we've got a few more people. I know, I know, I know. Dominic, go ahead and unmute, buddy. You've been so patient. Uh, one time, uh, there was a venom on me. Probably it was like a poison snake, but it wasn't. Then it was, then I think it was a, like a, like a spider. Spiders, that was venom. Interesting, but you were okay, right? Yeah. Good. And also, my dad had a little venom. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds like Dominic's got some experience with some some venomous creatures. Amazing. And Morgan, very quickly, Morgan, and we might have to just stop for a little while. So, um. So I want to know how the spider how the spider what? Say it one more time, Morgan. How the spider what? How like how do like spiders like crawl on the wall and like Ah, you mean how can they crawl up the wall and not fall off the wall? 
Yeah, that's an excellent question. And that is, the answer to that is pretty scientific. It's very similar to the way other creatures can walk on walls, like a, a fly can fly around and land on the wall and walk around the wall, right? That's a scientific question. How about this? I'm gonna look for some videos for us to, um, to be able to learn more about spiders, but I think we're ready to get up and move and we're gonna move on to our next section of our morning. So we're gonna put our hands down for now. I know it's so hard. This has been so interesting. We've really loved learning about spiders, but we are gonna put our hands down for now. We're gonna stand up and we are going to move and grow and sing along. right now boys and girls so we're gonna dance so watch and sing along let's move like the animals all around and learn the letter sounds animal alphabet a to z
girls. Great job. Thanks for getting up and moving and grooving. So boys and girls, we are going to run out of time. We're going to keep Mahilani. We're going to keep it in our smart brain right now. We'll have a little bit more time later. Saman, we're not going to have talking time right this second, honey, because I am going to bring over our S word list and then it's time for our writing today. I know that's what lots of you wait for because you really enjoy our writing time. But here's our S word list. And I think that after what we learned about today, that we might want to add after spoon and snake and sun, do we want to add spider to this list? Should we add spider? Yes. Yes, Mrs. Lai, let's add spider to our list. So let me see. I've got uh, blue, green, blue. Let me write spider with green. And boys and girls, everybody tell me what spider begins with. What's the letter? S, Mrs. Lai, S. So help me spell it. Here I go. Let's say it slow. So everyone, everyone get your hand up to your mouth. We're going to say it slow. Samira, we're going to sound it out, okay? So here we go. Sp -p -sp -sp spider, but it's never just R. This one happens to be E-R, spider. And we know that a spider has two body parts. So here I go, the head, an abdomen, and a spider has eight legs, four on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And can a spider be green, boys and girls? Yeah, that was in our book today. There was a green spider in our book today. There sure was. Let's see what else we can add to our S word list and keep yourselves muted until I call on you. And as soon as a friend says a word, we're all gonna put our hand down and help write it. Okay, so I'm gonna choose Ira. Ira was just having her hand up. Say it one more time. Sunday, like the day of the week. Sunday is a great day. So everybody, we're going to put our hands down so we can listen to how we will write Sunday. It's a day with sun. That is so cool. It's an A word with sun. So I'm going to start this by Xerxes. Let's go ahead and put our hands down because we're going to spell this word. <clears throat> this word starts with a capital letter because it's a special name. So I'm gonna start with a capital S. Everybody get your hand up, let's say it slow, ready? Sun, sun, now I've gotta write day. D, 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 A, Y, it's an A, Y word. We're learning about A, Y. Now Sunday, I've gotta write Sunday. Um. Now Sunday's an S day, that makes it a weekend. We know S days are those days that, sorry, we know those weekends are those days that start with S. So let's see here. But it's also the first day of the week. It's the, the last day of the weekend and the first day of the week. So I'm gonna draw my calendar and my calendar here. And I'm just gonna say right here, there's my star. It's Sunday, cause it's the very first day of the week. And we're just gonna take maybe one or two more so that we can get to our writing. So I'm going to choose my friend, um, Mahialani. Mahialani, go ahead and unmute yourself, honey, and tell us an S word. Stop sign. I love it. That's a double dipper too. Stop sign. So thank you, Mahialani. So I'm going to write the word stop and then I'm going to write the word sign. So let's all get our hands up to our mouth. Let's sound this out. St, 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 stop, stop, sign. Now I have to write sign and sign is an interesting word. Got to have a little space. S -I -I. It's S-I, and I want to tell you a secret about this word. There is a silent G. S-I-G-N, stop sign. There's a double dipper. And what color is a stop sign usually? Everyone should say red. It's red. Does anybody know the shape? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's an eight-sided shape that makes it an octagon. So I'm gonna write stop. S T O B stop sign. There's my stop sign and stop on a stop sign. I want you to observe this the next time you go by one. It's always in all caps, okay? It's always all capitals. All right, now boys and girls, take those S words, keep them really strongly right here in your brain. I'm gonna slide this away because we're not done, but we're done for right now so that we can go ahead Take out our writing paper. It's our last day of writing paper. Tomorrow we have a really special activity to do. So it's our last day of writing paper. Okay, so here's my writing paper and I'm taking it out. And I've got my three sentences right here. So Sasha, do you have your writing paper? Yeah, I found it. Good. I wrote all the sentences so then I can... Wonderful, wonderful. So here I go. And I think we might really enjoy writing about spiders today. Thumbs up if you would enjoy writing. Yes, you found it, Ira. We're going to do that today. Awesome. I love it. This is something we are just so, so enjoying. So let's go ahead and write about spiders. So we can start off with a sentence that I'm gonna have you be uh, writing today. And write your name, Mrs. Lai. Always write your name. Let me make sure you can see my paper. There we go. Um, Mrs. Lai. All right, my first sentence today is going to say, I can see the spider and if i get to the end of the line i'll just go down to the neck i'll just go down under it i'm gonna write kind of big because i want you to be able to see so here i go i david David, will you go ahead and turn your mute button on, buddy? Thanks, David. I, spacers can, help me spell can, boys and girls. C, A, N, I, can, C, spell C, S, E, E, I, can, See the. I'll go ahead and write it over here. Spell the. T H E. I can see the spider. And we wrote it earlier. And we know spider starts with letter S. Spy. You'll lose your iPad for the weekend if that's what you're gonna do. Spied. Spider. But it's never just R. This one happens to be E R. There's always a vowel before the R. So I'll leave this right here. You just do your best. I can see the spider. I did it. Do you have a question, Miriam? What is it, Miriam? Um, you're going too fast. Oh, I'm stopping right here. So I'm just giving everybody a chance to write. So you can just take your time, whatever time you need. Yes, Ava? Mm -hmm. Always, I love to see your good work. Very nice, Ava. Good, Sasha. I see some kids are holding up. Thank you, Mahialani. Nice work. Nice work, Sandana. I love it. Great job. Good work. Love it. See, lots of kids 
I think they might be ready. I'm gonna leave this sentence up, but I see some kids that might be ready to go on to the next sentence. So we see the spider, right? So I can see the spider. The spider has eight legs. Can we write that? That's something important that we know about spiders. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna change my color. I'm gonna write a spider. That's what I'm gonna do. A, capital A, it's my very first letter. I'm still gonna add my spacer. A spider, and I know how to spell spider. Sp spider. Now, Dylan, now I'm going to write has, and has is not tricky. We can even sound this out. There's an H. Has, H A S spells has, a spider has, and I'm gonna go ahead and write number eight. I'm gonna teach you number word eight, but I'm gonna write number eight. A spider has eight legs. And I'm gonna sound out legs. Yes, Cersei's. Legs. Oh, go, honey. Leg, legs. L e g. Have to add the s. Legs. So there I go. And I'm gonna give you guys all time to write. Yes, Sasha. Uh, I want to choose the third sentence because it's really good. Oh, why don't you tell me your third sentence, but I'm still going to be the helper for the writing for today. But pretty soon, I'm going to let you be the helper for the writing so you can write it your own. So I'll tell you what, Sasha, this is what we're going to do. You write your own sentence if you don't want to write my sentence, okay? And I'm going to tell you, you can totally do that. You can write your very own sentence. Totally fine. Everybody? I'm they want to? Everybody can come up with their own sentence if they want to. All about spiders because we're writing about spiders. Thank you, Avery. Yes, but if you have a great sentence about spiders, you can go ahead and write your great sentence about spiders, okay? Sound good? That's totally perfect for me. So, we know a spider has eight legs. And what does a spider spin? And we're not just going to say web. A spider spins silk. A spider spins silk. And they can use that silk in lots of different ways, but that's something important to know about a spider. So we're going to say a spider, and I'm gonna leave this right here, a spider, just like the sentence up here, a spider, sp spider, a spider spins, sp sp spins. Sasha, will you do me a favor and check your mute button, honey? Are you okay, David? A spider spins silk. Yes, David. S it's another S word. We're like triple Sing right here. You're, I'm telling everyone, you just take your time. You don't have to go as quick as me. I just try to get it done so that you have time to copy. Okay? So I'm trying to get it done, Samira. I want to tell you again, please don't unmute yourself until you've raised your hand, until you've been called on, honey. So Samira, I want you to turn your mute button on because I'm trying to talk to friends. Thank you. And Samira, hang on just a second. And let me finish what I was doing because I was right in the middle of sounding out a word. So this is what we're writing here. A spider spins silk. And we're gonna sound out this word, so many great S words. S -i -i igloo, I -i igloo. Sil silk. Okay, 
S I L K silk. Period. Let me read that sentence. A spider spins silk. Now I'm going to stop and I'm going to let you do your copying, do your writing. I want to make sure everyone can see. Yes, Sasha. Um, my third sentence is the same sentence that I wanted to write down. Why don't you tell me what you wrote, okay? Tell me what you wrote. I can see the spider. A spider has a flex. Beautiful. The same sentence. It was the same. That's great. Great minds think alike. Great job, Mahialani. I'm super proud of all your good work. So happy you're not giving up. You're just hanging in there. Yes, Samira. How do you spell poisoned? Oh, poison. Do you want to write poison or do you want to write venom? Uh, venom. Venom is the word you want to write. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to write, some of you might want to write venom, like a, a spider has venom. And so I'm going to write it on the whiteboard right here. Okay, so watch me write it. I'm going to write it right here. So let me get my marker. Okay, so here I go. And Samira, Samira, why don't you go ahead and turn your mute button on and I'll help you spell it, okay? So here we go, venom. I don't want that skinny marker. I want a good big marker you can see. Venom is a V word. It's ven, it's venom, venom. V-E-N-O-M. And you can add a sentence with venom if you would like. That's totally fine. Yes, Langston. I saw you, buddy. Oh, one more. Try your mute button one more time, sweetheart. Oh, I can't hear you. Langston, I can't hear you, honey. Go ahead and unmute yourself, Langston. Uh, how do you spell eyes? Eyes. Okay, so I'm going to add eyes under or next to venom. I is a funny word. It starts with an E, even though it sounds like I. E-Y-E-S. That's eyes. So we've got venom. We've got eyes right there. Yes, um, yes, Xerxes, and we're just about, we're past, a little bit past time how here. Do we, how do we spell like? Like? You mean sight word? No. How about L-I-K-E, like? Yes, Mahilani. what will you show us will you wear our costume your costume on friday so what we're doing is we're going to surprise our friends and the teacher by wearing our costume and then i get to see it i am so excited sound good so it'll be such a great surprise i can't wait thanks mahilani all right boys and girls some of you are still writing so i'm gonna let you stay writing i'd love to hold on to skylar and Mahialani for just a little bit of time if you're able to hang out, but everybody else, can we can go ahead and say goodbye. You'll have to hang on for a second, Samira. Bye, okay. boys and girls. Bye. Bye.